Welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of 2022 and actually it was my one New Year's resolution to dedicate myself more to YouTube and to growing this channel, to making more content, to sharing more with everyone. So today I'll be completing a painting from start to finish. A few days ago I was just completing a regular drawing on a new sketchbook that I got for Christmas and I was getting quite tired of always looking for inspiration in reference photos or painting from imagination so I decided to go back to drawing from life I'll be using myself as a reference for this painting I don't know how the painting will turn out and it is quite satisfying to start off blind in a way without a preconceived idea of what I will be making. There is literally nothing I love doing more than sketching. As, as far as I can remember myself, I remember sketching at the back of my father's scripts. When I was little he would come back from the studios with a bunch of paper with scripts on one side and obviously I, I would just flip the pages at the back of them there was just white paper and I would use that to sketch. It's actually quite important to prime your canvases. I am usually quite lazy with this and I tend to buy pre-primed ones that already come with some sort of gesso or other priming materials. For this one I'll be applying several layers of gesso just to make sure that the paint actually sticks to it properly. Thinking of it, I really want to have some undertone to the canvas um, just to, to allow it to, to then show up through the, the layers of paint. I will just add a, a layer of acrylic paint and I'll do it right at the last layer of gesso while it's still drying. Color mixing is so pleasant. To be honest, my one inspiration at this time comes from that almost fauviste painting by Matisse, which I think is called The Portrait of His Wife in Green. Anyways, when I was a child, I remember looking at this picture in a Taschen book that my parents had, which was about the life and work of Matisse. I remember really having a, a strong impression from this painting, basically a very close-up portrait of Matisse's wife, and it's painted with very bold colours, and actually half her face is covered in green. Um, I don't think I'll go all in with the green on this one, but I think it can be quite interesting to um, go pretty colourful and, and try out different colour combinations. That's really my intention for this painting. Another thing I'm really interested in right now is texture in art. I really like when the juxtaposition of colors kind of shows through and you can identify the layers that were beneath the surface. There is a really cool YouTuber that I love and follow. She 
makes her videos in Spanish and her name is Ter, spelled T-E-R. In her channel she discusses quite a lot of things but most subjects end up being related to architecture, which is actually what she studies. And she mentioned this in several videos that when she actually looks at buildings, she thinks that the way the architects that created them decided to show or hide certain um, structural elements is a way to actually kind of communicate with other architects and engineers, you know, people who are interested in those kind of structures to wink at them in a way to say, you know, I, I managed to do this and you can't understand the way or it's not absolutely obvious or actually it is and it is this simple. Um, I, I thought it was quite interesting to see architecture in that way because that's also how I and I think most artists look at paintings and, and artworks. You know, there's always a trick under the surface which is really interesting to, first of all, try to grasp. But then when that is kind of like offered to you in a way of a very distinct brushwork or anything of that nature, it, it really, I don't know, warms my heart. I, I truly appreciate it. And I, I want to create something like that that is not completely kind of polished. You know, anything that is raw and unfinished, it's really appealing to me. My idea is to have quite defined kind of outlines for different shades and areas, but it would be cool if the undertone showed through some parts of the paint. That's it. Hope you stay tuned for the next video.